Ugh. I didn't touch nothing. There goes. No, it's the mouse. Alright. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, that's bright enough. Alright. Oops. Okay. Alright. Hello, everybody. So there's Tita, Mary, Sam, April, Wendy, Jillian. Um. Let's see. Hello! Uh, Golina. Let's see. Do, do, do. Alright. Hello! Alright. I'm empty. <laughs> um. So. Yep, okay, we're good. Nope. I got it's got top chat on and I need live chat on. Just in case. My mouses are being stupid. Like I'm in like a dead spot where the mouses won't pick up since I moved my desk. I don't know how. Alright, hey you, hey you. Uh they heard you, honey, because there's the hey Andy's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Susan. Hello hey. everybody. Okay, we're going to paint. Hey Joey. Alright. So, what did I say we needed? I said we needed watercolor paper in whatever size or shape you wanted. If we need watercolors. Um, so, this is the same palette that I had before. Um, we have that spray bottle, baby. No, we have Mr. Place. King here. Has the job interview trial thingy this afternoon. So, streaming now instead. I'm enjoying what he's playing. <laughs> You're leaving me, Sam? How dare you? Ugh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Bye, Sam. I love your face. But I'm a little disappointed in your face. Um, I'm not. Go ahead. Uh, I'm lying. I gotta get my watercolors wet here. Alright. There we go. Because they were like all crunchity. Crunchity? Crunchity. They were crunchity, baby. Mm. Um, like my green blob over here just flew off and was sitting over here in my purple blobs. And so they were crunchity. Dinner suggestions would be nice. Who wants to give Andy a suggestion for dinner? Because he doesn't know what he's making. Yeah, brushes. And we've got washi tape. Washi tape, washi tape. So, those were the list of supplies that you needed in order to do what we are doing today, which is some abstracty goodness. So, thin washi tapes, thicker washi tapes, whatever washi tapes, tickle your fancy. That should be plenty. This is like the one and only bag of washi tapes that I actually use. And I don't use them for decoration, so they could be all black for all I care. All right. Ready, chili, lasagna. Okay. Do do do. Have fun. Ba 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 ba. Why are we kicking YouTube? Do do do. Because it's sort of laggy. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can fix. Let's two seconds. I gotta get my stinking mouse to work. Do, 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 do. Let's try. I don't want it to be jumpy. Stop being jumpy, stupid. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. That chili, lasagna, I lagged. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I love you. Don't be mad at me. Um, let's do that one. I like thin. Mary says tacos. No, I don't want tacos. She, he doesn't want tacos. Well, if you're just gonna reject all of their ideas, maybe they'll just stop making them. <clears throat> nope. 
Oopsies. Whoopsies. All right. So. Yeah, I did just make spaghetti. I made spaghetti um, Friday uh, and took it to him at work. Oh, God. Baby, don't start making noises. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, sorry for the caps. Let's see. Hello, Sandy. Mary says tacos. Yeah, I just had a real plot problem with my phone and their feed. Mikey, I don't know why you couldn't get into the first one. Because if you were a patron, you should have been able to get into the first one. So, I don't know what happened there, baby. I got your, um... I got your, uh message a second ago when I went to run PP, pee -pee. Um, but uh, I don't I don't know what it was because everybody else seemed to be in there fine but if anybody else had a problem getting in there they can let me know it's getting violent <laughs> Ooh, tacos burritos sorry let's see you should play with watercolors Mikey duh um, breakfast for dinner I don't really want breakfast that's me reje rejecting something they do breakfast a lot, and breakfast sort of upsets my stomach. I mean, it's good going down, but then it upsets my stomach. Um, audio is great, but you're really buffering. Okay, I'm working on it. It's probably because I have too many things happening here. So, like, because it's smooth over there. I gotta get this to work. Okay. Me too. All right. Let's. Go down here. It took me forever, 25 minutes to find the Patreon feed. Okay. Loving your nail. Oh, Galena, I, let's see. This is, I knew I was going to forget. And I do it because of you, and you know that. So, LA Colors, Mermaid Magic. The color is mystical, and it's like a, a very subtle pinky pearl type deal. So, I like it. Um, since half of my nails are broken because of the stinking dogs and the stinking cat that was running in front of the stinking dogs. Um, it's a whole lot of stinking. It's a lot of stinking. Um, they're all uneven and I need to cut them um, to line them back up now. So, I thought subtle was better instead of drawing a lot of focus to it. Alright. Am I still lagging? I'm probably still lagging. Alright, let's try one more thing. Settings. Do, 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 do. It's because I got so much going here, I'm sure. Let's do one more. Change of the settings. Let's see if that helps. Alright, I'm leaving. You're leaving? Mm -hmm. Don't leave me. Did you find an idea that you like? No. Mm -hmm. You have that polish. Ooh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, Belinda. Hello, hello. Still lagging. Give it a second. Let's see. Space. It wasn't Space. lagging in the other one, so I don't know why it's lagging now. <clears throat> it may take it a second to sort of catch up. Alina's talking to me. Oh, thank you, April. What? April says happy anniversary to us. Hey, take your time. I got a wheel in the kitchen to get water. <laughs> okay. Have fun. Let's see. Make PB and J. <laughs> That sounds great. No. PB and J sandwich. Not having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for our anniversary dinner. It's our anniversary dinner, so why are you not cooking it? Because you love me, and I'm out here playing with my friends. I bought you an uh, iPad. So. <laughs> I am never going to live this down. No, you're not. Hello, Melissa. It's Melissa's the jelly bean, right, Melissa? I know this. I know this, right? Right, right. Am I right? No. Are we getting any better with the lag? Ugh. I'm working. I'm trying. We might have to just be laggy for a second. 
No, you were lagging. I was watching but didn't say since I'm not on, <laughs> since I'm not a patron. <laughs> it's okay, Mary. It is okay. Why are you two not going out for dinner? We went out for dinner um, earlier this week, on um, Tuesday, when he got me the iPad. So. Because I've spent a small fortune on the woman. I don't, I'm don't. i still lagging, fortune. I think. I can, ugh, I don't know what to do. I've been trying. I'm trying, and it's just not doing it. Hmm, let's see. I'm trying to figure something out here. How long lag, and now it's better? Okay, so it is better. Okay, well, let's try stepping the bitrate down one more time. Let's see if we can't pull this thing together. Let's try that. That meal doesn't count. <laughs> Ooh, sweet and sour pork chops, ginger, honey, carrots, and some type of rice or potatoes. Ooh, that sounds yummy. You want some pork chops, maybe? We haven't had pork chops this week. Sweet and sour pork chops, ginger, honey, carrots, and some type of potato. I know you don't eat rice, but we can have a potato. Yeah, that sounds good. You don't think that sounds good? I think that sounded good. See, April says you love me. Okay, I'll not say what I was going to. Andy, you're a champ. What were you going to say? Say it. Say it anyway. It's not as laggy. Okay, good. Then we're stepping in the right direction. Donna, is that your dinner? <laughs> okay. Somebody has hidden Wendy's watercolor paper. I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're getting better. Are we getting better? It looks to me... I'm sitting here twirling this thing just to watch the screen. Um... Seems like we're getting better, right? So I'm just going to go. We're going to go. We're going to see if we can't get it. Um, Mr. King, you should consider yourself lucky for our anniversary last year. I forgot about it and made us dentist appointments. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Who did that? You're a dead man. <laughs> That's it. Oh, she, oh, she did it. Oh, you're a dead woman. <laughs> Okay, we're doing better. We're, we're less laggy. He doesn't think it sounds good because he's going to be the one cooking it. I don't know. Maybe. That's or exactly what that is. Some, if you don't like the ginger idea, baby, then whatever-ish pork chops you want to make. You want pork chops? Yeah, that's not good, Melissa. He didn't orange like that chicken. one. So let's try orange chicken with carrots and potatoes. We've got a whole very... Um, Chinese, Japanese, Asian flair going over here. I was thinking fried chicken or fried pork chops. I don't know. I'll make pork chops. That sounds pretty good. Pork chops sounds good. I think we have a winner. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to take a sip of my Dr. Pepper and start filling myself back up here. Uh, yeah, um, pork chops and potatoes. Can carrots? And carrots. Okay. Because I got carrots in the thing. We got baby carrots in there that need to be eaten. Ooh, a salad would be nice. Uh, you gotta go get pork chops anyway. We get some salad stuff. I mean, I've got all the extra to zhuzh it up, but you need like the. Well, I love you. I love you, but you're pressing. I would love a salad. Do we have any more mushrooms from last night? No. I, I would like some mushrooms for my salad. I didn't say not bad no salad. I love. <laughs> you love me though. And I love you, and you want our dinner to be special. You're special, Lori. She says orange chicken, or orange is good. Okay, so brown sugar and mustard pasted on fried pork chops. Ooh. No, brown sugar and bacon pasted on pork chops. Ooh, brown sugar and bacon. I like bacon. Pork chops marinated in Worcestershire sauce. And cooks in the oven tastes so yummy. Ooh, we got Worcestershire sauce, honey. Pork chops with gravy, rice, carrots, and green beans. I think. Oh gosh, there you're making me hungry. <laughs> I'm about to starve now. Oh my god. Okay, we got to do this. Okay, so what do I have? I have little 
three by four pieces of Arches watercolor paper in case y'all want to know what I'm using. So blah 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 blah. Arches 300 GSM 140 pound watercolor paper. Random washi. And we're gonna um get in there and do this thing. So this is sort of like a whole abstracty kind of thing that looks good underneath lettering and things like that. And if you can find the start of your washi tape, good on you, because apparently I can't. I need my little palette knife, Deggy, so that I can rip my washi tape. Alright, so, and then you basically just go in all crazy, laying washi strips down wherever you want them, whatever floats your boat in no particular order zero rhyme zero reason just get in there and then you can switch it up with a couple of different sizes so this looks like it's probably a five millimeter washi tape and so this is probably a 10 mil 10 millimeter washi tape and since i'm using smaller pieces of paper i went with these and didn't step all the way up to the 30 or 15 millimeter washi tapes so these are two of my thinner washi tapes all right the lag is so much better it looks good now awesome that is flipping awesome because i really didn't know what else to do except for try and start the stream over and i didn't particularly want to do that i hate when i do that because then there's like two videos and then everybody has to go through two videos and i don't like that either so let's see what is going on out there now there's children outside and i'm not sure why i'm guessing andy recruited help to go to the store All right, let's see. So let's make. All right, I can't weigh in on pork. I've given up the swine for a long, long time, but they taste so good. <laughs> Definitely not the person that you want to come to if you're vegan. Um, I can't. Uh, let's see. I've got to paint some flowers for my grandma who's coming up in a month. I'm so nervous to even try. I'm sure that it will come out great and she will love it no matter what. No matter what. Ugh. Okay. Fingers need to work here. Let's see. There we go. Get it to line up right. Still need to move over. There we go. That'll make a nice neat corner. Alright. Um, have you received your package? Donna, I think so. Uh, yes. I have not opened it yet. Uh, because I didn't do the vlog yesterday. And so I wanted to open it on camera. Uh, I can open it now. Do you want me to open it now? I'm so excited about it. I will happily open it now. It's sitting right here beside of me. We eat a lot of pork and rabbit here. I don't. Ugh, I've never eaten a rabbit. Um, I can say that. I've never eaten a rabbit. We eat a lot of cow here. Um, yeah. We... Eat a lot of cow, a lot of pork. Um, I'm not as, I mean, Andy doesn't mind them. He likes the um, gamier type stuff or whatever, but I'm so scared that I'm not going to like it. Although my um, tastes have changed dramatically 
from what they used to be and I may like some of the gamier stuff I'm just scared to try it because they used to be such a picky eater like okay my salad used to consist of ham cubes and ranch dressing that was my salad uh, <laughs> that was the extent of it um, there was nothing else in it um, except for possibly some cheese if I was feeling a little funky you know, and so that was my salad. Now my salad has got cranberries and nuts and seeds and all kinds of lettuces and, and uh, all kinds of greens and carrots and radishes and all that kind of stuff in it. So my tastes have definitely changed over the years. But I don't know, some of that gamier food, like even deer or something like that. I, I don't even like the idea of eating deer because they're so cute. Um... I don't know if I would like it or not. I kind of want like a thick chunk running this way, but I'm trying to line it up to where it doesn't look weird. Let's see. Let's go right here-ish. Maybe that'll work. I didn't want it to be exactly even. I wanted it to be kind of wonky. Um, ooh. Let's see. A lot of chicken. Oh, yeah. I, we eat lots and lots of chickens. Alright. I got it. Hi, Amanda. Oh, thank you, Gemma. Let's see. Okay. So, we eat chickens, cows, and pigs here, mostly. Oh, well, thank you. Um, for the Patreon sample, or, or what's the Patreon link? She got you. Okay. Hello, Gemma. Yes, thank you so much for wishing us happy anniversary. Uh, Mr. King is going to get stuff to make our anniversary dinner. We're having pork chops. <laughs> A lot of chicken. Actually, it replaces chicken for us. What replaces? Oh, rabbit does. Okay. Um, hi, April. Ooh, that was a lot of comments. Um, they are vicious. <laughs> They say your taste changes every seven years. I did not know that. Okay. I even eat rabbit and caribou amongst other things. Oh, I don't mind eating either Bambi or Thumper. Deer is yummy. See, I don't know. I have to try it again. See, my mama tried to sink it past me when I was younger in spaghetti. She made a deer meat sauce instead of just a uh, cow meat sauce. And I... Uh, yeah, I'm like, this doesn't even look right, and so it doesn't smell right, and it's not going to taste right. Okay, open my package. Open my package. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I got one from Galena, and I got one from Donna, which I'm super excited about. So, let's open it. So, here is my package from Donna. Trying not to show your address to everybody. I don't care about my address. Everybody has my address. <laughs> and none of you have come to murder me yet, so we're good. Alright. Open the package. Everybody's saying open the package. I don't like deer or goat. Ugh. Open the package. Just little Easter Bunny stickers. Okay. There's a little one inside the big one. Ooh! Please take me apart and use the goodies for your own projects. I don't know if I can. Ooh, look. It's so pretty. I don't think I can take it apart. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Look. I got all... Oh, it's so pretty. I, no, honey. It, I... I appreciate you telling me to take it apart but I can't. It's going up on the board. Is this a letter in this? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's so pretty. Ooh, I got stickers! you're telling me about you okay I'm gonna read this later but thank you so much for writing me back and thank you so much for the goodies but yeah they're going up on my board at least for now it's like a little umbrella 
in a little hat because it's a little dress. It's like a little, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I can't tear that apart. It's not going to happen. All right. I'm about to burn up in here too, so hold on. I had to turn my little heater deal off. Galena, is yours a letter to me? I'm just going to open it and take a peek since those were the two that I got. This one's for Inca Rhymo, I believe. Ooh, the paper is so pretty. You didn't do Inca Rhymo. But you answered my letter. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, look. Got pretty flowers all over it. All right, I will read this too when I get done. So, cause you're telling me about you, and I want to know about you, so I'm gonna read that too. All right. Oh crap! I forgot again. Uh, resistance. Oh crap! I don't have it. It didn't rhyme, and so I kind of got stuck. Um. What is this? But hello. I can't remember the name. <laughs> is it? What is it? I forgot her name. <laughs> I feel so horrible. I forgot her name. Um. All right, now so we got our washi tape all on here, crazy, and. Uh, then we're just going to go in and paint, and then we'll pull the washi tape off after, and it will look super cool. And then you can letter over top of it or whatever. Finally uploaded my terrible video. I haven't gotten a chance to watch it, but it is on my watch later list, um, which hopefully I will be catching up with later as I mull watercolors. She uploaded her first video after the, um, after the chronic illness burnout video. She said that she was, um, she had been worried previously about uploading her first video to YouTube. And, but she did it, so I've got to watch it. Alright, let me make sure that we're all wet again here. Okay. Let's try something... I don't know, springy. Let's go springy. Got my water way over here, out of the way. I'm hoping that I don't knock it over. So, some pretty pinks. And then you just sort of just go in all crazy. Okay. Um, can we watch the video? It's up on YouTube. She's uh, click on her little um, icon, and you should uh, be able to catch her channel. Since I've got a mind like a sieve, I'm just going to call you X. Oh, did she tell me what her name was again? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, Prima or Davenport ten? Hmm. Prima. I don't know. Uh, as a fellow sufferer, I would watch and support you. There you go. So, there we go. I'm gonna... Alright, we're going in. We are going in. Here we go. Now, you can do either way. You can sort of wet on wet this. Um, if you want to take like a bigger brush and go in and wash out um, just some wet down on the page. Or you could just sort of wing it and go in uh, wet on dry. I am obviously doing the wet on dry because I didn't think about that beforehand, but it's okay because it's going to work out just fine. These are good watercolors, so they will re-wet on the paper for the most part and then blend together. I'm going to get my towel over here. I might have to readjust because my water is like super out of the way. purple going in here and mix those together and you can let this since you sort of tape this down um, in the process of spreading your washi tape all over the place then 
feel free to get in there with some good water and not to worry too much about the page actually buckling or anything like that like if you want to let it puddle let it puddle um, because it's taped down so it won't warp that bad and um, so you should be pretty much good to go yeah I am gonna have to move my water because this is terribly inconvenient for me to keep having to reach behind me my water's already dirty my tin is dirty. I need to throw some bleach in there and just get get in there and get the ook out, but I haven't. So, all right. Um. Okay. She's asking Donna questions. So, not directed at me. But yeah, the, this is the exact same palette. If y'all were curious as to what colors I'm using or I end up with, um, that's gonna be kind of dull. I don't like that color. Let's, let's go with something like this. Um, it's the same exact palette that we were using in the watercolor that I never finished because I ran out of time. Um, so, whatever was in here before is still in here and that's what I am using today. Um, you could go in with some like Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White or, uh, let's see he makes a couple of different kinds or some copic white stuff um at the end with like a toothbrush or a like a fan brush and sprinkle it before you let her on top of it that also works and makes a cool sort of look um let's see what we got i don't even know what colors i have on in here anymore so we're gonna figure it out all right Ooh, that's pretty drop some more purple into here that bled sort of into the pink and then you lose sort of the purple all right get some purple going up here and so I made a whole bunch of these because we can just sit around and we can chat and we can do whatever and y'all can ask me questions we could do a, a question and answer thingy if you like we can do whatever you want we'll just sort of get in here and paint together all right, let's see. It would, it makes, you, you can do like these. Um, this would make a perfect, perf, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I could talk, um, a perfect little journaling card because it's a three by four. Um, so it's, it does great as a journaling card. You can use it as a tip in because you've got the back that you can write on and then you've got a, decor a decorative front. Um, you can letter on top of it with any kind of quote that you might um, might like. So it would it does it serves all kinds of purposes. You can use it as sort of an artist trading card, the base of an artist trading card, which is something that um, it's like a mixed media project that um, people send in happy mail, and you can make all kinds of things there. Let's see. Bye, Sandra. Okay, uh, Donna, Androids, sorry, Amanda, what are you up to? Is that watercolor paper? Yes, washi taped and then watercolors. Yes, Gemma, it is Arches watercolor paper. It is um, just random tape thrown down on top and then, yep, just watercoloring. Just go in and go crazy pretty much. Um, Donna has an Android. I have no help when it comes to androids. I'm really not. Hey, that's a little darker than I wanted. Let's see. That'll be okay. We'll make it work. So, and then, yep, yeah, no rhyme or reason. Just go in there and start putting color down. And then when we pull it off, it'll be cool. I use cobalt turquoise and it's gorgeous. It's got granulation everywhere. There you go. We'll make Happy Meal. That works too. How do I not make my flowers look like a three-year-old painted it? Um, that's a good question. I'm not good at like painting them freehand myself. I'm really not. Um, I am trying to get better at it. You start with C's. Um, but that's just like roses. I can paint roses. <laughs> I can't. 
can paint roses. But that's about the extent of it. Um, where you start with a C and then put a backwards C in it. Um, uh, we can try to make a flower here in a minute. I got plenty of paper. I cut up a 9 by 12 and uh, little 3 by 4 sections. So we got all kinds of stuff to play with here. Uh, just watching. <laughs> I love chatting. Well, we love having you here. How is the last year coming along? We were talking about that, Gerda, in the, um, hello, Gerda, by the way. Um, and hello, Willow. I didn't, I didn't see y'all come in, so I'm sorry. Um, we were talking about the final tier in the hangout for the patron, um, uh, patrons at two. And I hope to have it sort of, I don't really like that green. Um, and then I'm going to use it anyway. Um. I hope to have the price finalized today. So, I'll let y'all know what I was thinking. Because this is what I was telling the patrons. So, I know that, um, okay, I offer three different subscriptions each month as of right now. So, you've got the monthly supply sampler. Okay, that's $35 a month. Um... You have got the digital sampler where you get the digital version of all of the kits that are all the stickers that I put out each month. So um, there's that, which is $30 a month. And you can add on the Procreate files if you like for $10 a month. And then you get the full Procreate files with all the layers already laid out in it and all of that goodness. So you've got that. That's the second one. And now we've added on the watercolor box um, as well. So the watercolor box, you get four to six um, new watercolors each month that um, are probably all going to be themed. I mean, the first set was a primary set because you got to have somewhere to start. Um, but the rest of them are probably going to have some sort of theme um, or look to them. And then I'm trying to throw in extras in the watercolor box like this first round I did the tins with the um, custom stickers on the front and the watercolor subscription is $40 a month um, so what I was thinking because while I'm sure some people want the everything and some people do digitally plan and digitally play in journals um, not everyone does so that's sort of like a targeted uh, a specifically targeted thing that i have and that i offer but not everybody is going to be interested in but the works is supposed to throw in the works oh there's a fly um you know butthole get out of here um so for the people who do digitally plan and do want that will have it but the people who don't digitally plan but still want the works and just to have that option I don't want them to have to really pay extra get out of here fly um, I don't want them to have to pay extra for something that they're not going to use so my thought um, in this was since I was going to give you a discount anyway since the price is going to be discounted for my patrons because it's a patreon tier to get the works um, I figured whatever price I end up on I will just throw in the digital stuff and the digital kit at no extra charge. Like you're not paying for the digital kit. So you're not spending the 40, but you're getting the stuff in the 40. So, I mean, if that is not already a significant savings, I don't know what is. Um, but so then you'd basically be paying for, you know, the tiers that you already have, um, which gets you the sticker kit each month. And all the little extras and all the get out of my water fly. Um, hey, don't drink my paintbrush water. Um, uh, I, I've completely lost my train of thought because the stinking fly is missing. Move, hey, you go. Ooh. Um, so you'd already be getting, uh, or uh, you already get your sticker kit each month, and the samplers and the extras that go along with it, and all the downloads and all that good stuff. But 
in addition you would um get all the subscription boxes too so I don't know I'm, I'm finalizing the price um like I said you already be getting I mean if you use the stuff then you're already saving 40 bucks as far as the digital kit is concerned because you're not paying for it if you don't use the digital stuff it's still going to be cheaper oh there's a stink bug too Jesus oh help me um I still want to discount the prices a little bit from what it would be if you just bought it outright um, because I want you to feel like you're getting a discount too for buying it all so I don't know that's y'all are just hearing me sort of work through the thought process you know as we're talking all right that yellow is a bit much but it's okay and brighten it up a little bit I think don't muddy it with other colors little bits of bright just thrown in okay so I hope that makes sense oh and then I missed like 50 comments right um let's see um hello Willow. I could draw but painting is far outside my wheelhouse we'll try to paint a flower next we've got bunches of little cards um I love the tins, so cute. Uh, I was really happy with the way that they came out. No, I can't draw, but I'm yelling at my and attempting to paint. Um, I was like draw. Uh, I was drawing for a while, but then arthritis is getting mad, so I'm losing control of my hands. Oh, no good. Ugh, this fly is driving me crazy. Movie Maker and Google Play. Okay. Add more yellow. I'm trying on it. Ah! I'm getting attacked. <laughs> so, at least I can handle flies better than I can handle, say, stink bugs or spiders. Oh, my God. I almost died uh, the other day. I was trying to switch out my camera or something earlier. I was trying to move my camera mount or something. I don't remember what I was doing, but I touched up there. And there was a spider. There was a spider. And he fell down onto my um, desk. And I almost lost my mind. It was a near death experience. I'm telling you. Alright. I need more water. Let's get in there. Get in there. Go yellow. So. Let's see. Did not go off even though I was on YouTube. Okay, so I don't know if the Patreon thing will go off if you're... Y'all have to tell me because it's a unlisted event. Um, so I don't know if the reminders go off for unlisted events. Um... Whereas you just have to go to Patreon and grab the link and put it in your browser. Or click the link and go in your browser. Um, because otherwise you, you, you don't really find it. Um, which is I guess the point of a unlisted link. Um, so you, yeah, you're supposed to grab it from Patreon and click from there which will lead you straight in you just kind of have to watch the time as far as that's concerned unless the notifications do go off and I really don't know if they do or not um but then YouTube is horrible about the notifications either way um so it only lets you it only alerts you when it feels like it to start with I'm gonna let that blend together and then maybe we can put a little bit of that green in there because I got like one patch of green. I didn't really care for that green though, so let's see. What color that's brighter. That looks better. I like that one. Okay. It's hard to see when they're all blooped up. Oh, that was a little much. But yeah, that'll match better now. Let's get some green floating over here because we can I'm going to kill this fly that was a lot of pain all right just 
thank you for interesting. <laughs> You're painting. You stop talking. I stop talking too. I keep feeling like I get quiet. And he's really going to like what I sent you. Hint, hint. I'm so excited. Like, I don't know who's more excited. Um, that was a lot of green, by the way. Um, about you getting your box tomorrow, I swear it might be me. It might be me. Because I'm so excited for you to open it. Because I put so much in it. Alright, I need to pick some of that up. Let's try. Clean dry brush, clean dry brush. Let's get some of it up and put some pink back in. Um, I am not set up for next week and I'm hoping that it doesn't turn out to um, looking like the black and white week that I hated. But I'm going to go in there after dinner and I'm going to sit down with my watercolors and I'm going to do that in the house, I believe. i got to wait for that to dry. Because otherwise we're going to go gray. Um, postage for the full box then, Amanda. Um, like if you get the whole thing. Um, I'm going to do my best to see if I can keep it under the 9 ounces. If I can keep it under the 9 ounces, then I can still ship it for $13.54 international. Because you got to think that I shipped that entire tin of watercolors. It was only 2 ounces. So you don't really realize how much you can shove into 9 ounces. And typically, I want to say that the supply samplers run somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 to 6 ounces. So as long as I can keep that bad boy 9 ounces or less, even if it's for the full thing, then I can ship it for $13.54, which makes it a stinking fantastic deal if you happen to be international. Oh crap, why don't you get mail on Monday? What is wrong with y'all? You're making me wait a whole nother day? What is that? Why didn't you say that earlier, Wendy? I was excited. I thought you were going to wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning telling me you got your package. This is still not dry, but I'm just impatient, impatient, so we're going to hope it doesn't go gray. And my heat gun is way over there, so um, now we're just waiting for paint to dry, literally. <laughs> maybe some pink up in, or uh, let's see, ooh, and maybe some more blue. I feel like we need some more blue. Let's try. a little bit more blue sort of up here chilling in the corner turning green because it's on top of yellow but still there just a little sploosh there we go alright and I work so probably I will miss the mailman okay well then maybe I won't get woke up at 3 o'clock you can tell me at a decent hour. <laughs> Not when I'm laying down. Okay. But I think I might be more excited. I'm so I'm so excited just for you to open it. I mean, I know what's in it. So, I'm excited for you to get the contents. But I'm so excited for you to open it. That's why I love these stupid blind boxes so much. Because they're just so much fun. Because you don't know what's in them. But I know what's in them. And I'm, I hope that you love them. When you get them, and so far, I have not had a single complaint about the contents, but I'm so happy, anxious, nervous, all at the same time. Alright, I want to pull the paper off. It's not dry, but I want to pull the paper off. Let's, it's dry-ish over here, so this is the best part. The best part of the whole thing is pulling the washi tape off. So here we go. So yep, once you have your paper filled, then you just start picking the washi tape up. I'm going to murder a fly. <gasps> I found the stink bug. I see it. I see it. I see it. Is Mr. King back with my groceries yet? Because he's getting awfully close to me. Oh jeez. No, he's not back. 
Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an ugly flower for you in just a second, Melissa, so you don't feel so bad. Get your heat gun. No. <laughs> it's so loud, and I don't know where to plug it up. And right now, there's a stink bug near my plug. So, it's just going to have to smudge in that one section. <laughs> it's just going to have to run just a, just the smidgiest bit. It's fine. Ta-da! Yeah, see, it's the same thing with the Happy Meals. Oh, yes, it's so... My only problem is that I probably want another one. Oh, I'm good with it. I got all kinds of stuff I can shove in there. Um, so you get as many as you want. But ta-da! Look, it's pretty. I think I like the thinner strips on such a small piece of paper than I do the thicker ones. But then, you just letter on top of it. I, I got ook all over my... I got Uka on my desk. Let's pick it up. Ta-da! Multi-purpose tool. There we go. So, one. Done. So, yeah. You can take and sprinkle white all over this. You can letter on top of it. You can leave it as is. You could have framed it to where it has a border. And um, you can use it as a tip-in. You can use it as a journaling card. You can use it as an artist trading card. So, there we have it. Let's try to paint an ugly flower. Um, is Mr. King back? No, Mr. King is not back. All right, so here's what I remember of flowers. I am terrible at this. So, let's try it, though. Um, I think... This is a number six, and this is a really, uh, a fairly small piece of paper. So, I'm going to stick with the number six. Let's get some pink all nice and ready over here, I guess. And then, I'm like freaking out. Mr. King, come back. Okay, flowers. Um... Yeah, I should have went for a larger piece. Um, I think the wind is out there blowing my little clothes sign. So, alright. Uh, flower. We make C's. So you make... Make a C. I'm so bad at this. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, you should feel really good about your flowers here in just a second. And then, it's really hard to do with this angle. Make another C. And then, you sort of just start killing flies. Swooping. around sometimes touching the other petals but not all the time touching the other petals uh, I don't know what I'm talking about so this is a sort of impromptu half tutorial because I don't know what I'm talking about and see and then you just keep you sort of let them get lighter and lighter as you go up and that um, helps with your flower and you jiggle your brush a little bit and that helps make it look like petals and then you can add some color back into it. Like if it's getting too light for you, then you can go in and add some color on your inside edge. Because that would be the part that's in shadow. And if you need to shift your paper, shift your paper. I was trying to keep mine straight up. That's not really working out for me. 
Oh, he's back. Yay, he can come and get the stink book. My hero. You can come and get this fly in the stinking stink bug. Alright, so then. And then you just go out until your heart's content as many sort of petals as you want. To make it um, a big fat flower. So it's like you're coming close to the petal underneath it, but never quite touching it. And then you can just like barely join the edges and then the colors will sort of flow together. Okay. So that didn't look too, too, I mean, it doesn't look great, but it's not horrible. And then um, there you go, a rose. All right, and then we need it to have um, a buddy, so let's do it again. <laughs> you jiggle it. Uh. You jiggle it. Okay. Just a little bit. Now I'm singing it. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's do a more redsy version. Let's mix some red into our pink and get a nice super bright one. And let's see if we can do better this time. <laughs> honey. Honey, honey. There's a stink bug. Stink bug. Will you come and get it? He's smiling and shaking his head at me like a crazy person. Like he knows he's going to come in here and get this stink bug. <sighs> Alright. So start dark. With a C. Make another C. And then just, just don't be mean. I'm kill one of these children. Okay, kill him. No, uh, oh, spin don't. around the white pole in your car. Excuse your me. Car door. Excuse me. On the handle. I don't know. Looks like they slung it open and hit the white pole or something. What are you talking about? Why is anybody entering my vehicle? Is what I want to know because I haven't I sent anybody anywhere. The last, it's right there. On the bottom of that shelf, by the way. Uh, Stink he's in the plastic. He is not in no, the plastic. In the plastic. No, he's out oh, there. geez, baby. You're not supposed to let him go. I thought he was behind the plastic. There's also a super annoying fly in here that keeps trying to drink my watercolor water. Awesome. We're making flowers. Well, we'll have to wait until he resurfaces. Sort of ish. What do you mean resurfaces? He's going to resurface over here and I'm going to deafen some people. Well, I can't get to him. He's running. <laughs> you got too much stuff in the way. I do not have too much stuff. Organized as hell over there. Ish. There, it's, I got him. Oh, you do? You swear? You promise? He's in my hand. You want him? Nope. Well, Y'all keep opening the door, not me. I'm sitting in here minding my own business. I went with the uh, ginger honey deal with the pork chops. Hey, that's fun. We're going to try it. Hold see how it works. You, I didn't hear a word you said. The ginger honey. The ginger honey. We went with ginger honey. I had ginger in the, um, I have a whole ginger rooty thing in the, the, um. I uh, picked me up some stuff for this week. Oh, because you didn't eat the stuff that I gave no, you last I'm week. I'm talking about my peanuts and stuff, my cashews. Okay. So you did your own grocery shopping? I did my own junk food shopping. Lovely. I only spent $3,000. I'm sure. Alright. I'm making flowers. Alright, I'm going to cook dinner. Okay, baby. Just 
still only four o'clock, but okay. <laughs> she trips me out. Okay. Hold on. I got to go back up. Hold on. Let's see. A little challenge for you. Get a piece of plastic, pick a color, and put it on the plastic. Then press it on your paper and try to make something out of the shape that comes out of it. I will totally do that next. That will be the next thing that we do. Looks like a canal boat art in Britain. Oh. Well, hello, Andy. Um, I need to find a piece of plastic, but we will totally do that here in just a second. Um, hey, everyone's still recovering and off bed rest. I made it to... Love draw. Hello, Rosemary. We're so happy that you can be here and we're glad you're recovering. So, yay. Using Daniel Brown and I can't say that. Gonzai Tambi is what I want to call it um, on watercolor paper and greens and purples. Oh, I bet that's pretty. What is a stink bug? Is a nasty little thing. Um, a weird beetle bug kind of looking ooh, look it up it's they're nasty but they stink if you kill them which is why they're called stink bugs um ginger honey oh yeah no never have too much stuff <laughs> does the coupon code work on the boxes as well it does not um the coupon code works on everything in the shop that is not a subscription Or a blind box. It works on everything else. Now my this one is starting starting to look a little wopsided. Need some. Um, let's give him some petals over here. So that he starts to look a a little fuller. It helps if you make the wee sound too. If you say wee as you stroke across the paper, that helps. Alright, now he needs like one big petal, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but you know, whatever. It's a whatever flower. It's a, it's a, I just made it up. It's an Amanda flower. I don't think these are technically roses. And then this one, we will swoop back behind this one. And now, there we go. It's got a friend. The weeds <laughs> works for a lot of crafting. It really does. Hello, hello. Um, they stick their butts up in the air and let out a terrible smell. Yeah, to drive predators away. They just they're nasty little things. Oh, they are actually called stink bugs. I thought that, no, they're stink bugs. <laughs> My oldest daughter used to eat them. Oh, bless her <laughs> I made my sister eat a worm one time. We were sitting in the playground in the um, daycare. And I told her that it was a chocolate gummy worm. And she ate it. <laughs> they are, they are, they are cabbage roses. Sure. If that's a thing, then that's what they are. You posted your flower update to Instagram. Tag me in it and I'll find it. I'll find it. I will find it. Let's make a purple one. It needs to be uneven. We need an uneven number. What color purple is this? This is the brighter purple. They need a friend. And then we can put some leafy elements on the back. All right, let's try again. Cause these little C thingies are not hitting on a whole whole lot. So let's let's try to do better. Maybe if we start smaller and maybe wrap like that, we can 
Okay, let's try that. And start wrapping them around. Whee! Okay. I got this one. I swear I did that that free show me your florals kind of thing uh, by the happily happily ever crafter like a year or so ago but I got like two days in and then I had too much to do and stopped so maybe I would understand how to do florals a little bit better if I'd ever finished the sinking thing Wendy sent me a photo are you doing flowers Wendy what are you doing we be sending me stuff. Let's find out. It's definitely a thing. Oh, awesome. We're in the middle of nowhere and deal with all kinds of bugs and other things out here. Yeah. No, I'm not going to the middle of nowhere. I'm having a hard enough time with the bugs that everybody has to deal with. But it's like, I did not, you liar said I slept for 14 hours. This thing is so stupid. I hate this watch. <laughs> I might have slept for four hours because stinking time changed. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm checking my photo from Wendy. Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, Wendy's came out so good. Look, it's so pretty. I love it. So there's her version of the the last thing that we did. Awesome job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tagged you. Okay, I will check it on Instagram. Right, okay. On Instagram. Okay, let's find it. Let's find it so we can all see it. Let's all see it. We want to all see it. Did you tag my personal account or the eclectic scribbles? I see a Pikachu butt. Uh, I'm gonna find you one way or another. Show me. Why am I not finding you? Uh, I can't find it. I gotta find it. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I painted some flowers on my spool tables I made last summer. Ooh, awesome. Okay, I gotta finish my flower. Hold on. I keep getting distracted. Purple flower. Come here, purple flower. Wee. Alright. Wee. All right. Let's spin this around. I'm gonna get a petal going in here. And then Shaky hand syndrome going on over here. Hard to pull a straight line when your hands don't cooperate. He's like, no, we need some jagged edges. Thank you very much. We prefer jagged edges. All right. There's a purple flower.
Shelly, oh, with the dot. Okay, I was missing the dot. We're going to find it. Do, 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 do. We're going to find it. can totally find it. Shelly Bane, dot, two, three. Oh, there you are. Oh, pretty. Look. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh. Awesome. Uh, heart. Give it some love. Heart. 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 Awesome job. Alright. Let's make some leafy things on the bottom. And then we're going to find a piece of plastic. So. Leafy things. Whee. There's a leaf. Ish. It's a very bright leaf. Mm -hmm. There's a leaf. So for leaves, you just start and then you smoosh and then you lift up. And as smooth a motion as you possibly can, but then you go back and fix it, so it's okay. Leaves. Alright, three tulips outline, but I don't know if I want to do background of some kind or leave it since I don't want to ruin what I've done. I like the uneven number. I don't know. If you were going to do a background, I would say that the background might have been better to do first. Um, like to lay down sort of a wash because I would be scared too. Um, of messing up the tulips. But that's, yeah, that's me. I have fear. I have fear. Um, because I'm about to mess my flowers up. Wee. Okay. Definitely helps things go smoother when you say we. Um. It's a big part of the process to say we. Okay. Oh, crap. All right. Is Wendy drinking? What'd she say? <laughs> um, I didn't see what she's saying. Oh, the, <laughs> the Captain Typo. That's what we're going to call Wendy. Wendy is Captain Typo. It's okay, Wendy. I understand you. And isn't that the most important thing ever, that I understand you? I can read your typos. I didn't even see it. That's how used to your typos. <laughs> your typos, I am. I don't even see them anymore. They just look like regular letters to me now. <laughs> I had to really go hunt for it. I'm like, what'd she say? What'd she say? I'm like, oh, I just saw that as gorgeous. That's awesome. Whee. My paintbrush is dry. And I keep forgetting to put color on it. So, not the best approach to watercolors. This is starting to look like claws. <laughs> My flowers have claws. They look like crab claws. Alright, we're going to call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shoot.
I need. Uh oh, I, mu I smudged it. Oh, I smudged it. I need one more leaf. You make it a baby leaf. There's a baby leaf. Done. Done so. <laughs> we, have, we have weird cabbage roses. Time to stop. <laughs> Time to stop on the leaves. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I need a piece of plastic. Next. Alright. Plastic, plastic, plastic. I'm on the hunt, so give me a second. I'm on the hunt. I gotta find something. Ooh, plastic. Mm. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Y'all pick a color while I'm hunting for something plastic. I need that bag. Um, oh, I found something. Y'all pick whatever color you want whatever to be. I don't need this bag, so I'm going to use this bag. Oh, I almost had that fly. Irritating little booger. Okay, I got this. We're gonna try to crinkle it up. We'll see how well it works. Oh, I had these little. Let's see. This might work better. Purples, blues. Is your Dr. Pepper drink plastic? It is. Step away from the leaves. Yeah. So. Okay, got it. That's maybe too. This seems to be crunchier. This might be, this might work better. And it's more sized appropriately. So I'm going to squiggle down on here. And then we'll, we'll do this. Alright, purple, purple, periwinkle, blue, purple, 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 purple. Okay, alright, I think we... We're gonna go purpley. Mm. Let's make a color. So, dirty water, dirty water. All right, now what do we got over here? This is a nice deepy purple and a deepy blue. So let's. Yeah, let's let's go in here. Purple, 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 purple. Yeah, that's a nice deep color. That'd be pretty. Let's go with that. That looks yummy. Get a little bit of that in there. Get a little bit of that in there. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Okay. Cling film. I don't have that out here. Um, so we're going to, we're going to make it work maybe. And if not, we got more paper. <laughs> we got more paper. All right. Let's we're gonna put our paint on this. Doesn't look like a whole bunch of nothing yet, but it will. And then I'm going to spray it with water. And then we're going to smudge it. And we're going to see what we come up with. Alright. Close enough. Oh, that was supposed to be my clean water. Oops. Oh, I will. What can you do? Okay. Well, the saran wrap is in the house where the saran wrap lives. And I don't have saran wrap. So we're going to... We are winging it. <laughs> I don't have any out here. I really don't. I got... 
They got wax paper out here, but none of the cling wrap's in the house. Um, let's let's see what we can make though. Ready? One, two, oops, three. Ooh, that is a pretty color though. I like that. This is how we make cool backgrounds. Problem with this being a bag is that the underside is what's actually touching the water, not the top. So I have to get in here. Let's get in here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to make with this. An acrylic block would work. I have an acrylic block. Here, ta da. Ooh, it's a monster. Look. That's its head, and that's its arms, and that's its legs. It's a monster. I don't know. What do y'all see? I see a monster. I think it looks kind of cool. The way it is. Oops. I meant to not hit that color onto the... We need some... There we go. Some abstracty goodness. So you can do that with a whole bunch of colors and it looks really cool too. I see a monster. That's all I see is a monster. You turn it the other way, it would be a wicked tree. A tree. See a tree. This way? Oh! Like a. Oh! Okay. Maybe I do see a tree. Ooh, I do see a tree. Okay. Uh oh. Night, Gerda. Happy monster. Okay. Turn the other way. Um, octopus. Ooh, octopus. Ooh, octopus. <laughs> See a dragon. It's kind of like a horse's head. Darkest part at the top is the tree. Yeah, okay. So we got tree. We got monster. Or octopus. I kind of see the octopus like uh, here's his squishy head, and then that's a leg, and that's a leg, and that's a leg, and that's a leg. I think Mr. King is back. Oh, he's bringing me stuff to taste. That's like the fastest you've ever cooked, baby. I'm not done cooking. I just want you to taste Oh, that's a big piece. Oh, you're dripping. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I like that. I do too. Tastes pretty good. It does taste good. That mashed Oop. potatoes with gravy and uh, carrots. Carrots. Yum. And salad. Oh. Like five course meal here. I mean, yeah. So yummy. Oh, that sounds so good, baby. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey, honey, what do you see? What do you mean, what do I see? I see a fox dancing. You see a fox dancing? Mm -hmm. Right, let me show you. No, nope, turn it back around. Well, what do you see this way? Uh, an upside down fox dancing. <laughs> okay, show me the fox. Okay, see the little dark spot? There's the two eyes. There's the head. 
Oh, his hands. his feet. Okay. His feet. <laughs> I see it. Yeah. <laughs> You're so smart, baby. Ah, uh, like I got the best one ever. Hey, go finish cooking. Good night, looking at it. I do. I'm seeing it. I see it now. I can't unsee it. Ooh, it could be. Oh, I can. Or make a baby elephant. A baby elephant. All right, well, we're going to turn this blobby into something. Look how my flowers came out. I put too many leaves on them, but... Them's purdy. Uh, uh, them's purdy. Purdy. <laughs> I see a lion griffin. Turn it into a landscape. Darkest bit in the right top corner. I see a donkey. A donkey. A donkey. I don't see a donkey. It was dark at the top. A griffin. Kind of see a griffin. We see a horse head. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Darkest bit, right top corner, and I see a donkey. Eh. I don't know what I see. I do. Now I see everything all at once, and I'm having a hard time to see. Um, okay. Let's go. I don't know if I can draw a griffin with no source material at all. Um, I'm waiting for this to dry too because it's not dry yet. And my heat gun is way over there um, before I start drawing on it. So let's see. Let's figure out what I want to draw. I'm going to look at it. I kind of like that landscape idea. I mean, but you said to turn it landscape so that I could see the donkey, but I kind of like the landscape idea. Like if this is the horizon line, then this could be all trees and happy little bushes shooting up, and this is the reflection see if we can't make it look pretty from that. Let's try that. Need what I think is a finished product. I think I wrote too small. Okay. I don't read Spanish, but it's pretty. <laughs> I can't read Spanish. Now you have to say what it says. Like, I know that's family, and that's and, and that's you something. Oh, I would totally butcher this. Okay, it looks like Eeyore. Oh, Eeyore. Okay, I'm going to make it a landscape because I can't draw any of these things with no reference. <laughs> uh, I'm off to dinner and well, I'm going to draw toodles. Oh, bye, Andy. Okay, this is for the most part dry. So we're going to try. Let's see. I go like right in here. With a horizon.
Let's see. Just split it down. It's now it's just starting to look like an ink blot to me. <laughs> I see so many things competing with each other on here that it's just. Now everything is sort of. Then we can have the stuff sort of silhouetted out. And it's almost like the sky is the blue part now. I don't know. I see a griffin fighting in the background of my now landscape. <laughs> You are the joy of the family and make everyone around you. Oh, that's so sweet. Bye, Mikey. Love your face. Bye, everybody. Oh, everybody's leaving me. I think I went a little overboard with the number of colors on the plastic. Looks good, but what do I draw on it? <laughs> she... Go to the landscape. <laughs> Silhouette out of landscape what I'm doing so I am making trees and the blue part because it did come out more blue than it did purple the blue part is the sky there we go one tree everybody's leaving me I think it's going to be a bunch of balloons some of the time <laughs> Some deflated balloons. That is awesome. All right. So these are the easiest trees to draw because then you just you squiggle. You draw a line and then you squiggle. Oh, I didn't get to tell y'all because I told my patrons and then I forgot that I didn't tell y'all that in two weeks from today. Day, we are going to be back with another Bob Ross challenge where Mr. King, oh my god, Mr. King is going to come back and paint alongside of me. And so we, we, we are going to do another Bob Ross challenge, both of us. I'm so excited. There's two trees. Oh, maybe we should have some mountains. We should have some mountains in the background. Let's do... Where's a good place for a mountain top? Like, over here where the white is, right? So, let's... Squiggle. Up in here. A mountain. And maybe a slightly... Smaller mountain right there. That feels right. So mountains with snow caps on them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then here we go. That feels okay. So let's just give some indication that that's what that is those are the snow caps on the tippy tops of the mountains and then we can go on with our trees does he paint or draw mr king no <laughs> he drinks and cusses is what he does <laughs> Uh, he drinks and cusses, so be warned that there may be some slightly more colorful language in that video than my normal videos because he drinks and cusses and I yell at Bob. I have a tendency to yell at Bob. Hey, that's cute. Three happy little trees over here. Let's put a happy little bird up here. Look, happy little bird. Aw, happy birds. Happy birds. 
like this is never going to be a work of art or anything so happy little birds there's some happy birds we've got some happy trees going over here i think we need some happy trees over here okay now that i'm done i have to go as well oh bye melissa oh drinks and cusses <laughs> at the bottom part could be a reflection on a lake or something definitely definitely that's what i'm going for here so i'm thinking this is our happy little water line here so this over here is going to be not water and then we've got this happy little shore running down this way I'm just making stuff up as I go along here so just so we're all clear on that <laughs> so then we need to run our happy mountain up this way and then back down trying to make it look somewhat like it there we go that was a happy mountain this happy mountain is reflected right there oopsies uh, whoops okay and we've got a squiggly tree and some maybe if I turn it this way it'll be easier on me to do this tree <laughs> easy what's that why would I want to do it the easy way all right tree tree okay and then tree so that's ish reflected okay now we've got happy little tree needs to go over here My poor pen's like, uh, honey, you didn't wait for this to dry. Um, I don't know what you expect from me. I'm giving you my best. And, uh, you could have used a heat gun. Alright. <laughs> See? She, you're in the same boat. Rocks and bushes on the water. There you go. Rocks and bushes. Rocks and bushes. Rocks and bushes. We're going to make some rocks and bushes. Definitely going to do that. And fill out this tree over here. And have him sitting in the background. With his little reflection. He looks sick. Ah, this sick little tree. Didn't eat his spinach. There we go. Rocks and bushes. We need some. We're going to put a happy little bush right here. There's a happy bush. Which could not be easier to draw because they are just squiggles. Squiggles with dots in them. There's a bush. Squiggles. This is a very abstract <laughs> bush. Rocks, 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 rocks. Just stipple a little bit, and there we go. Stipple, stipple. And some rocks. Bush. Bush. Okay. That one looks like a hairball, but it's a, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> maybe <laughs> and then you have to have okay so we got a background we got a middle ground sort of going up here we need some happy little bushes back out here because I mean it's gotta have something so finish out this background happy little bush happy little bush just a happy family of bushes 
doing its thing out here. All right. We're making big decisions because we need a foreground. <laughs> you should do watercolor on the wallpaper samples I sent you. Ooh, I should totally do that. Okay. We need a foreground big decision tree in the front is what we need. I feel like it's going to need a bigger pin. Let's see what we got over here. And a big decision tree that lives. Oh, I'm so scared. A <laughs> big decision tree lives right Oh, you just got to make it happen. There's our big decision tree. <laughs> okay, we got a tree first. We got a big decision. There it is. It's going to happen. And I am going to use... I think we're going to have to use... Go in here with the, the brush pen to zhuzh out these leaves a little bit easier. All right. We're going to tear up my brush pen. It's okay. I have more. Big decision. He's got to come out here and he's got to live right here is where he lives. Okay, he's coming along. They're squiggling. Pour around tree. Oh, hello, Tanya. I need a happy little cabin. We're making art-ish. We're winging it. <laughs> That's what we do best. Okay. Get out here and blush him out. It's a big tree. Big tree, big tree. Right here. On the water line. Okay. It's a big tree. We're going to make some I feel like we need a tree. It's a little one back here a little bit. So he's not the only thing standing in the foreground. Okay. So, squiggly tree right here. And then we need my cabin's going to be see through. Um. Oh, yeah, I hate it, too. It's not really working out great for me. Um, uh, it's, yeah. Um, okay, we might have to paint a cabin now that this is pretty much dry. Let's paint a cabin because otherwise my cabin is going to be see-through. I don't know how to paint a cabin. Because <laughs> I'm not a painter. 
We'll figure it out. I got some raw sienna and some. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's. Oh, I'm scared. Big decisions. Big decisions. Oh, I feel like I'm going to cover up my. I think our. Mm. Alright, I'm covering up the bush that looks like a fur ball. Okay. Right here. Over the cabin. Just do it. Just do it. Maybe a not round brush would have been a better idea, but it's okay. I got my flat brush up there, but eh, we're doing things the hard way. This is my cabin. A big blue splotch in it. <laughs> I cat him with the blue splotch. Alright, I need to come up. Just make an indication of a cabin because technically, I guess. Who would buy a lakefront cabin if the front was facing this way? I mean, that would be stupid, right? So, he, you want his front to be facing that way. So, what we need is going to be... <laughs> um, we need some white. Dry, dry, dry. <laughs> Trying to help it dry. Need some some white, just to give it some definition because this is not oil paint, so it needs a little help. Some white. On the cabin. Mm. So that we can see it. Wendy's sending me a photo again. Let's see what Wendy's doing. Oh, you did another one. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love him. They look so funky. Funky, funky, funky. I love it. It's groovetastic. It's groovy. There we go. So there's the back of this cabin. Sitting on the water. We got happy little birds flying over here. Maybe we need a couple happy little birds just chilling over here. I don't want that pan anymore. Um... Some happy birds. Happy birds. One, two. Nope, that makes us odd, so good. We need two birds over here and three birds over here. Got a happy little cabin. If this brown dries, I might be able to throw down some... Let's see if we can't get some yellow on top of it. And make it look like there's a... Oops, that was a dirty brush. Dirty brush. Keep getting my yellow dirty. Alright. We need... Uh, we need lots of luck and we need this to be dry because we need some yellow in our window. Like, this is the wrong size brush. Let's see. This looks dry. Okay. The lights... Our own in the back of the house. <laughs> and it 
needs. It's, this is a very tall cabin. Is this, this is the upstairs. They're going to have every light in the house on. Just wasting power. Like nobody's business. There's some, some windows in the bottom. Floor. Just because, you know, if you buy a lakeside cabin, you've got money. You've got money to spare. You can turn on all the lights in your house and not worry about the power bill. Some lights in house. Get a little bit wet here. Do -do -do -do. Ta -da. Okay. I think. I totally did it. Okay. I'm happy with that. What, what do we think? I'm happy. It does feel wintry. They're using a generator. They, yeah, there you go. They're using a generator and they have ugly yellow lights in their house. But, um, power's on. Alright, so, just, oot. Just some, just some, oops. There you go. Well, it's a little definition of some shadows going in here. Some shadow, some shadow. Make those windows pop. And, uh, do 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 do. Gotta sign it with our happy little signature down at the bottom. There we go. That was a fantastic idea, Wendy. I like this. This is this is cute. This is fun. This was very fun to do. I think it's done though. We got happy mountains on a happy lake with happy trees and burrs and a happy little cabin. That was freaking awesome. I loved it. My stomach is growling like nobody's business over here. It is <laughs> so hungry. He always does that. He knows that it drives me crazy too because now um, he brought me out a little piece of pork chop and that was so good. Now my stomach is growling. I'm surprised y'all haven't heard it yet. That was fun. Okay, that was fun. So here, look. Look at what we made. We got weird flowers with weird crab leaves. Um, got funky abstract thing. And then we have this weird wintry scene that looks freaking awesome, which is, I think, going to be my favorite out of the bunch. So, completely random off the top of my head because of Wendy's suggestion, and I love it. Oh, I love it. I have a micron, and it says PN on the top. I see O3 on Amanda's. What is PN? PN is plastic nib. Um... The PNs are the uh, ones that are like Tombow twin tones on the end. Here, hold on. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my Tombows? Of course, I say that, and that's the one time I can't find any of my pins. It means plastic nib. Where did they go? I have a bajillion. Here they are. Here's one. It has the plastic, plastic nib, like this, on the end of it, instead of the, oopsies, um, instead of the, like, um, fine liner nib. So that's the difference. Plastic, fine liner. I love the way that the plastic nibs write. I don't know why. I love the way that the plastic nibs write. The Microns also come in different size pins. So this is the 05. It is the 0.5 or 4.5 millimeter um, thickness. It comes in a 1, 2, 3, uh, 0, 0, 005, which is the small one. Um, I think there's a 0, 0, 003. 
it comes in a 08 um, and an actual one and then it comes in brush nibs as well so they come in a variety of different tip sizes okay am I going to try the wallpaper I put that over where did I put it where did I put it I, where did I put it in my happy mail where oh crap I'm rearranging again um we might have to try that in the next one where did I set it oh y'all I cleaned up on my whole thing I opened up my heat press um and my printer for my sublimation printer but now I need to order a new piece because one of my thingies is just not working fine or not working right but um I had to reorganize everything and I put that where did I put that I gotta find it I gotta find <laughs> what size is a pn um the pn is sort of equivalent to um maybe the o3 line i, I want to say it's sort of equivalent to the o2 or the o3 which is either the 0 0.35 millimeter or the 0 0.30 um i don't remember exactly but they're here sort of the same thing um So, that's the line on the plastic nib. This is the O3. I'll see how well it's right since I just had it on watercolor paper. Um, Alright, here we go. It might be the O2. So, let's put the O3 on that side and then the O2... I'm going to call it uh, the 0.3 millimeter. It looks pretty much the same as the O2 nib. You're welcome. I aim to be helpful. <laughs> okay. Oopsies. Oops. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to find my watercolor paper again because I put it up so that it didn't get messed up while I was rearranging and now I don't see it. It's not like right in front of my face. I got to figure out where I set it all. I think I set it all down in that bag because it was over on my workbench so that I could play with it. Um, so I'll have to dig that out in another time. But yeah, in two weeks we are going to be painting with Bob and Mr. King. I'm so stinking excited about that. I can't even stand it. Um, so yeah, I kind of asked him if he would do that again last night and he was like yeah okay so i'm like dude no backsies for sure no backsies um so yeah we're gonna do that again that's gonna be stinking awesome um this is all dry now i kind of want to letter something on it but then i kind of don't want to mess it up i don't know what i want to letter oh this is my favorite which one is y'all's favorite? This is my favorite. The scene is my favorite. But, um, and then next week will be the regular plan with me, which I have to go in and still do. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go and set up for my week. Uh, this is going to be a busy, busy week for me. So, I've got all kinds of fun things that I'm going to set up. So, today, when we get off of here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release the purple digital planner, which my patrons got to see. It's not a digital planner. It's the Scribbles Journal. It's the digital Scribbles Journal. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try to release the paper pack that goes with it. Um, the brushes and all of the brush packs and everything are going to trickle out over the week. And if you want a Scribbles journal in a specific color, you let me know what color you want because I'm going to start trickling out different colors of the Scribbles journal as well. So they're, because they're not a planner planner, like a digital planner 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 with tabs and everything, they're going to be slightly less expensive than a planner planner would. So if you want more than one, you're more than welcome to have more than one. And I will hopefully do a video um, on the entire thing this week next week something like that and all the new releases that are going up digitally 
so hard to pick okay your watercolor looks awesome i can't wait for the bob ross challenge awesome thank you so much yep i like the random writing or winging in plastic challenge one this one okay i have already set one up hard to pick just one it's the same it's really pretty i like how it came out like i think i might put it up on my board it's uh, it might be board worthy it, <laughs> it might be board worthy i mean like this is well they're sort of flowers so we're gonna call them flowers but uh i really i don't know it's the weird splotchiness of this that makes me like it i don't know it's weird i like it it's very bob ross-esque okay i like the flowers best but i'll try the abstract one first so see yeah i love them all they all came out pretty good i like these i like these. so this is fun it doesn't take a whole lot of ability to do so i mean y'all watch me sort of wing it off the top of my head um the washi thing is really fun to do peeling the washi tape off is the best part <laughs> when you get done peeling that off this was super fun this was really really fun and anybody can make these little squiggly trees so there is i mean literally nothing to it it is a bunch of squiggles it's definitely something that you want to admire from afar <laughs> Because if you get up on top of it, it doesn't look as good. <laughs> it doesn't look as good on, t you know, right up on it. But this is fun. I really like this. And then this is a bunch of C's. And we made roses-ish. So, they're sort of flowers. <laughs> but, no, that was really, really fun. So, yeah. I, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to see how close he is to finishing dinner. Because I know that soon, as soon as I tried to start another one, he would go, Okay, honey, time to stop playing with your friends. So, he would call me in for dinner. Um, so, I think we're going to wrap it up here. I am going to go. We've been here for two hours, so that's that's good. Alright, I will see you in the Daily Bullets vlog this week. And then I will be back here with a regular plan with me next Sunday and in two weeks from now is the Bob Ross challenge with us again so that's gonna be super fun all right I love your faces thank you so much for joining me today um I will see you next time I hope y'all have a fantastic week bye everybody oh thank you so much yeah I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of it with Mr. King